Hello good people and welcome to another Next Level Guitar Lesson. I'm David Taub. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for your emails. Thanks for everything. Thanks for it all. Um, got a lot of requests for Dire Straits, believe it or not. Um, I'm not the biggest classic rock fan. I'm more of like a modern and rock and heavy rock kind of guy. But, you know, you guys want it, so you got it. Um, Sultan's a Swing, Mark Knopfler, really good guitar player, great tone. Real great touch. Um, let's take the rhythm for this song, and um, we'll do all the lead work in the lessons because there's some great lead stuff going on. Tasty. You can taste it. It's tasty playing. Um, here's the chords we'll start with the rhythm on. Uh, D minor, bar chord. You're going to play a lot of bar chords, and you're going to need to know how to play bar chords. You're going to need to know how to chuck for this. D minor. The song's D minor. C. B flat. A. A7. Okay? D minor, 5th fret root on the low, on the A string, bar chord. C at the 3rd fret, bar chord. B flat, 1st fret on the A string, bar chord. A, just a regular A open chord. And if you take off your 2nd finger, you add that flat 7 or dominant 7th, the open G string, making it a um, dominant 7th, A7. Later on, there's an F chord in there. Okay? Um, so here's the basic rhythm of the song. Let me play it for you once and I'll explain what I'm doing. Okay, it's a great exercise if you're just learning bar chords because you're sliding them around and learning how to chuck. So here's what I'm doing as far as the strum. Remember, this is like the verses of the song, like we always say here at Next Level. Take this song piece at a time, glue it together, get the strum, get the rhythm, and we're all about copping the feel of the song. Copping the feel of the song, that is. All right, so um, here's the strum. That's what I'm doing on the D minor. Down, the second stroke is a muted downstroke, or what's known as a chalk. All I'm doing is I'm lifting pressure off with my left hand, my fret hand. And you're just muting the strings. So instead of pressing down to form the chord, I'm leaving my fingers on the chord shape, but I'm just releasing pressure. And you get that beautiful chucking sound. So it's chuck, up, up, down, chuck, up, up. And then a down, up. Okay? Down, chuck, up, up, down, up. And then I change. And the C is pretty quick. Just like a down, chuck, up. So it's kind of... So the C is just a down, chuck, up. Let's try that again. There's the D, D minor. Okay, so on the D minor, down, down, chuck, up, up, down, 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 chuck. Okay, so you get this. A. Now on the A, down, chuck, up, up. And then you go A7. Same strum, just change from an A to an A7. Very easy change, just lift off the second finger. So here it is again, slow. Down, down, up, up, chuck, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, up, chuck, up, down, down, up, up, chuck, up. Let me try it again. See if you can cop this. A, A7. Okay, that's basically the rhythm. That's all it is. Just keep that right hand going. That's all I'm doing, basic. Down, down, up, 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 up. Take a 
play the rhythm like I always show you with these. So you can play the rhythm just with your right hand. It's all in the right hand and in those repeating rests. That's what rhythm, that's what makes the rhythm, the repeating rests. So just practice this and then we'll put the chords in. Now I want to show you at about full speed. Okay, all I did there was with the chorus part, I go to F. A band is going to C. Go to C four times. B flat. Feel alright. Once you hear the music, bring D minor. D flat. So what I did there was on the B flat, I'm going. Now that last hit, I slide up a whole step to C. Keep the right hand going. So down, 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 up on the slide. And later in the song, he does that like four times, I think. But the right hand doesn't stop. See, the right hand keeps going. Down, down, up. See that? And Harry doesn't mind if he doesn't make the scene. He's got a big time job, he's doing all right. Ah, a good deal about it in a trumpet playing band. B flat. It ain't what? They got D minor. We are the Sultans. That's when he does that a couple times. So, the whole gist of that rhythm is in that right hand, but he's just sliding the bar chords around. D minor, C, B flat, A, A7. And that other part, he goes to the F. So just keep that right hand going. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And just putting in the chop. C. Up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. B flat, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. D minor. And that's basically all the rhythm work. So tune in to our full lessons uh, when we have our site up soon. And um, we could start looking at some of the wonderful lead work in that song. So until then, enjoy that. Don't take that for granted because just because it's an old song, because that's a great practice for moving your bar chords around. If you're just learning bar chords and you want to practice moving them around, that's good stuff. Um, because you're just keeping the shapes very similar with your left hand and sliding them to the other root notes. So enjoy, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Rock on, good people.